Six Sigma Introduction According to Jack Welch, the best Six Sigma projects begin not inside the business but outside it, focused on answering the question, how can we make the customer more competitive? The basis of Six Sigma is measuring a process in terms of defects. Now have a look at the video lecture which will explain Six Sigma process in detail. History and Development of Six Sigma The Early Saga The roots of Six Sigma can be traced back to the earlier industrial era. During the 18th century in Europe, Carl Frederick Gauss introduced it as a conceptual normal curve metric. The evolution of Six Sigma took one step ahead with Walter Schuhart showing how three sigma deviations from the mean required a process correction. Later in 1980, Six Sigma got a definitive form when a Motorola engineer coined the term Six Sigma for this quality management process. Motorola not only implemented this system in their organization, but they copyrighted it as well. The Japanese connection. The Japanese management made sure that they placed a high emphasis on all the activities leading to production. Finally, they started manufacturing TV sets with just 5% defects against the original records under Motorola. Motorola's valuable augmentation. Bill Smith, along with Mikhail Harry, had written and codified a research report on the new quality management system. The report clearly indicated that the lesser the number of non-conformities at each stage of production, the better is the performance. Bob Galvin, the then CEO of Motorola, became a leader in this system and with his help later, this four-stage logical filter became the skeleton of the present-day Six Sigma. The four stages were known as measure, analyze, improve and control. Inception of a new roadmap. Motorola's corporate policy committee started setting goals for further improvisation of this process. They even went to the extent of declaring that by giving way to the improvisation in Six Sigma, they would achieve 10 times better quality. Other unforgettable significant contributions. There were many people, but the most prominent among them are Unisys Corp in 1988 and Asia Brown Bovary in 1993. In fact, Asia Brown Bovary gave Six Sigma its final finishing touch by putting emphasis on customer satisfaction. Definition Six Sigma is a fact based, data driven philosophy of quality improvement that values defect prevention over defect detection. In simple words, Six Sigma quality performance means no more than 3.4 defects per million opportunities. Let's understand the definition of Six Sigma with the help of an example. Top senior doctors of a city and two Six Sigma experts are discussing on issue that how delay and cancellation of surgeries can be avoided. The agenda of today's meeting is how to improve patient throughput in OT as the number of delayed and cancelled surgeries is increasing. Can you suggest some measures? We can address this issue using the Six Sigma approach. It is clear from the data that majority of the cancelled surgeries were cancelled within 48 hours of the scheduled time. This makes it difficult to schedule other surgeries in the available time. Using Six Sigma, we can define the causes for delays and cancellations so that throughput through operating room can be improved. The hospital has collected cancellation data for years and is now finally able to use it for improved scheduling and improved throughput through operating room. So this is how Six Sigma works in the healthcare industry. Six Sigma's heroic goal. Six Sigma's goal is the near elimination of defects from any process, product or service, far beyond where virtually all companies are currently operating. 
the numerical goal is 3.4 defects per million opportunities, DPMO, while higher levels of defects are associated with lower sigma levels. Manager and Six Sigma expert are discussing problems related to form filling at the time of admission. We are facing issues with admission forms. The current admission form contains several fields of information that can be missing or incorrect due to which the quality of hospital services is degrading. Okay, so you mean a given form can have more than one defect? Absolutely right. This means that a sample of 10 forms may show more than 10 defects. Yes, right. So, to get closer to zero defects, we need to check progress performance and for this, we need to measure defects in the form. For this, we have to calculate defects per million opportunities. But what is that and how it is going to resolve the issue? Defects per million opportunities is the ratio of the number of defects in a 1 million opportunities when an item can contain more than one defect. Okay, so we are going to calculate defects of this form. See, suppose a form contains 15 fields of information. If 10 forms are sampled and 26 defects are found in the sample, then DPMO is... Alright, thanks a lot. You start working on it along with my team. This value allows you to determine how effective your process is. It also allows for a comparison between processes. Application in healthcare. Errors and variability can undermine the delivery of safe, effective patient care. Six Sigma seems to be an approach that is well suited to addressing disparities and helping to create a good healthcare system, since it is designed to reduce variation and defects within a process including the many processes surrounding patient care. Need of Six Sigma Six Sigma helps to identify and eliminate defects in a process. Six Sigma focus on outputs that are critical to customers. Let's watch the video lecture which will give you more information about the need of Six Sigma. Need of Six Sigma To attain Six Sigma level, a healthcare organization has to understand data collection, techniques of data analysis, fundamental concepts of statistical variation and control and knowledge of design of experiments. It also has to follow a customer-oriented view all the time. The organization must also know how to achieve a balance between quality cost and benefits that are arising out of the quality initiatives. Changing human behavior Physicians are often receptive to the idea of Six Sigma because it is an evidence-based scientific approach to problem solving. But it is important to keep in mind that while statistical tools will be very effective in identifying root causes of variation, they only address half the equation. In many cases, when we speak of transforming the healthcare system, we are not just talking about moving data points on a chart. We are really talking about changing human behavior. Success requires supporting the statistical methodology with change management and facilitation techniques. Without addressing the acceptance or A side of the equation, hospitals and healthcare systems will find they have a harder time leading this change. Hospitals have some unique challenges in this regard. Generally, physicians are independent and they do not work for the hospital. So, gaining their acceptance may require a different approach. Experience has shown they are often more likely to comply with change initiatives if shown valid data that proves beneficial to the way they work. Their patients' satisfaction and outcomes and a correlation between higher quality and lower cost. This is where Six Sigma and related change management techniques prove extremely effective. In any organization, employees have their own ideas about why a particular process is less than optimal. 
the statistical analysis drawn from Six Sigma may validate those theories or point to hidden factors that were not considered. Six Sigma Methodology Six Sigma has two key methodologies that is DMAIC and DMATV. Design for Six Sigma that is DFSs is the act of designing a product, process or service resulting in a Six Sigma virtually defect-free output. Let's understand the concept of Six Sigma methodology with the help of a video lecture. Six Sigma is a process improvement philosophy and methodology. Whereas, design for Six Sigma is centered on designing new products and services. Design for Six Sigma is an enhancement to your new product development process, not a replacement for it. This methodology can have the following five steps. Define, identify, design, optimize and verify. Define. Define what the customers want or what they do not want. Identify. Identify the customer and the project. Design. Design a process that meets customers' needs. Optimize. Determine process capability and optimize the design. Verify. Test, verify and validate the design. Design for Six Sigma is an approach to designing or redesigning a new product and or service for a commercial market with a measurably high process sigma for performance from day one. The intention of design for Six Sigma is to bring such new products and or services to market with a process performance of around 4.5 sigma or more for every customer requirement. This implies an ability to understand the customer needs and to design and implement the new offering with a reliability of delivery before launch rather than after. Just as the Six Sigma approach has the DMAIC methodology by which processes can be improved, DFSS also has a methodology by which new products and services can be designed and implemented. Design for Six Sigma can be used anywhere a new product or service is to be introduced or reintroduced. DFSS projects are often much larger and take longer and are often based on a long-term business need for new products rather than a short-term need to fix a customer problem. DMAIC is used to improve an existing business process. DMADV is used to create new product designs or process designs in such a way that it results in a more predictable, mature and defect-free performance.